Can I say good morning, YouTube? Good morning, my YouTube family. Welcome back to another video. Now, I don't know what time of day you're watching this video, but I hope it's a good time for you. I'm dropping this video because I know there's some people out there. I'm pretty sure there's some guys and gals out there that's, that have some questions about the bold board or just curious about the bold board, right? Um, either thinking about uh, going the bold board route in the near future or um, just start the bold board and don't know how it works, right? Just need some insight on it. Well, if that's you, this video is for you. Uh, just a, uh, a few things that we're going to be uh, covering in this video. Um, how, you know, obviously how to book loads with the broker on the load board. What type of loads are on the load board? Are there just loads for certain type of trailers? Or it's loads for all trailers, right? All trailer, all uh, different types of trailers. We're going to cover that today in this video. Now, being that it's the weekend when I'm shooting this video, um, the, it's not too many brokers on duty right now working. So I'm not going to call the broker directly. I'm just going to show you guys how, how to do it and basically how the conversation is going to go with you and the broker. All right. Well, I hope this video is going to bring some type of value to you. It's going to, it's going to be beneficial in a, uh, one way, shape, form or another. And I hope you guys just enjoy this video. But with that being said, this your boy T.Y. the Trucker coming to you with another video. All right, for my YouTube fam, for the sake of time, we're just going to go over just the, you know, the basic features of the load board. Um, it's uh, it's low war has so many different options you can utilize on on it. But um, for the sake of time, we're just gonna uh, cover the basic uh, functions of the low board. All right. So now, what you're looking at here is the uh, I guess you could say the home screen, and this screen right here um, at, at the bottom you, you see where it says search and post. Like I said, the low bar has so many different options, but we're just gonna go over the, um, just the basics, just to get you started and stuff like that, get you booking loads and different things. So what you wanna do in order to find a load, um, you will want to go down here at the bottom and hit the search option. And it's already lit up white, so it's already hit, it's already selected. So then you, you will hit search, then you will go over to the right, bottom right, and hit the blue um, plus symbol. Mm. Hit new search. Now, this screen right here is where you're gonna put in your information so that you can find a load to book, right? Now, uh, where it says origin, basically, you will put in where you're, uh, the city and state that you're currently in. So we're just gonna say, we're gonna put in right there, Atlanta, Georgia. Then we're gonna put in um, over here, 50 miles dead head, right? So, and basically what dead head is, is how, basically how far you, you, you are willing to travel to pick up a load empty without getting paid, right? That's basically what that is in a nutshell. Then, then for destination, we're gonna put uh, Miami, Florida. Oh man, we're gonna put Miami, Florida for the destination. And um, truck type is basically um, the type of trailer you're trying to find a load for. And let's just hit up, hit that right quick. I just wanna show you guys all these different uh, loads they have for these different trailers. Like they got so many different trailers on here um, that they have loads for, I mean, I meant to say. Um, and so, yeah, it, I mean, it's a, it's, it's a, a slew of uh, trailers on here that 
you can find a load for them. So I don't care what it is. You see, they got hopper bottom, all kind of different trailers. So you can find a load, I promise you. You can find a load for a commercial trailer on the load board. So don't be scared about that. Um, don't let that discourage you from going on the load board. Now, at the top up here, it says truck type, and you see the any and only option. So let me just basically uh, quickly tell you guys what's that about, what that means basically. So um, say for instance, you know, let's just click on flatbed. Let's go to flatbed. Boom, we're gonna click on flatbed. Now, you know, flatbed and a step deck is similar, right? It's similar in nature. So when you hit the only button, the only option on the low board and as you can see right here I got flatbed selected it's going to only show me loads for flatbed it's not going to show me loads for step deck but if you click on any option right here it's going to it's going to show me loads for step deck and flatbed with that option because like I said flatbed and step decks are similar so they got loads that uh, they got step deck loads that can go on a flatbed, and they got flatbed loads that can go on a step deck. So if you hit that any option, they're gonna provide you with those type of loads. But if you hit only option, they're gonna only provide you with flatbed loads for flatbed, and vice versa if you got step deck. Okay, so just keep that in mind. But yeah. Uh, it's, it's plenty loads on here. Auto carrier, that's car carrier. So there's no reason why you, sh you shouldn't be able to find a load for your um your trailer that you uh that you're pulling. So you'll select the trailer type that you want to find a load for. So we're gonna we're gonna put uh, we're gonna look for a van. Boom. That's the trailer type. We're gonna um, look for loads for um let's see. We're gonna put only. Boom. Now we got that. Miami, Florida, 50 uh, DH, 50 mile. They also got DH, deadhead um, for the destination as well. But uh, so basically what that is, let me kind of explain it to you. What that is, is basically how far are you willing to uh, drop the load outside of the city and state that you requested in the destination column, right? So we got Miami, Florida. They're gonna find loads that can drop within 50 mile, within a 50 mile, 50 mile radius of Miami, right? So uh, let's say 100 miles. If you select the 100 mile option, they're gonna find loads within 100 miles that drops that drops within 100 miles of Miami. And if you're okay with that, then cool. You can you can you know you can select that option. Uh, but you know, for the most part, I just leave it at 50, both on 50, unless I can't find a load, you know, within that radius of mileage, right? But for the most part, I can, right? So um, I just leave it at 50. All right, moving on. Uh, now truck type, like I say, van, boom, boom. Then length, you got a 53 footer. That's the most common for the drive in 53 foot and for weight you will want to put 45,000 okay, that's basically the match you can haul with a uh, drive in um, depending on your truck size and truck weight uh, and that's going to also not limit you with the amount of loads you can find on the load board by putting a 45,000 pound weight limit now let's like, say you, you put 25,000 in this column then that's just that's just going to limit you to 25,000 pound loads on this board. So to uh, alleviate that, just keep it at 45,000. I mean, I don't like the heavy loads, but sometimes you have to run them so you can make the money. You know what I mean? Now, uh, the next column over, the full and partial. Uh, that's basically, you know, are you willing to haul a, a full load or um, a half a load? You know, I just leave it at both. Because that won't limit that won't limit me on the uh, 
the amount of options I have for the loads. You know what I'm saying? So I just leave it at both. And then you will put in, you know, your start date, the 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 uh, the time you willing to uh, the time you want to pick up the load, right here. And um, you just say the eighth. And then we're gonna say um, the eighth for um, the end date, basically. And then you do that. Then we're gonna hit. So try my before. Now after you um, select that and figure that out, then you hit up at the right hand corner. You're gonna hit search. So right now they only have two loads right now. That's going from Atlanta, Georgia to Miami, Florida for today, right? And so um, being that it's a Saturday, that's and it's pretty late in the day. I see it's 5:47 p.m. As you can see, um, you know, it's um, it's not that many loads, but that's that's pretty normal for this time of day. Uh, so what you would do is you just click on a load. So we're just going to click on Forest Park, Georgia to Miami, Florida. Boom. Now, right here, it's going to kind of give you the load details and whatnot. It's drive in load. It's a 53 foot in length. The weight is 30,000 pounds. Oh no, first of all, let's, let's, start, let's start from the top and then work, work our way down. So basically, the origin is, uh, where you're gonna pick it up is, is Forest Park, Georgia. You're gonna deliver in Miami, Florida. So it's gonna be directly, you're gonna de de deliver it directly into Miami. And uh, the trip is 654 miles. And uh, it's, it's it picks up on the eighth, and sometimes they will have the pickup hours and the dock hours times listed. And like here, they don't have it listed, but sometimes they do. They say pickup time is between eight and ten. They have it right there for the pickup time slot. Then the dock hours, meaning the the delivery time, will be at 10 a.m. or so. They have it in, um, in the dock hour slot. But a uh, uh, truck it will be van. Length 53 foot, weight 30,000 pounds, and the broker is Landstar Ranger. That's the broker name. And the credit score is 90. Now, uh, basically, what this credit score thing is 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 about is um, it's a rating on how well the broker pays the carrier for the load. Like, cause sometimes the broker will try to jump the carrier and, and don't want to pay him. For the load and in the carrier have picked the load up and delivered the load but the broker don't want to pay so if that happens a lot their credit score will go down but um and 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 a, a, a good credit score is, is anywhere between 90 and 100 right that's just my um that's my gauge between 90 and 100, that's what I would say is a, 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 a pretty decent credit score. Now, when, when you start getting below 90, eh, it's kind of sketchy, you know what I mean? But uh, anyway, yeah, days to pay. That they, they will have 22 days to pay you your load. I mean, for the load you do, um, picked up and delivered for them. And their office is out of Tampa, Florida. The docket, that's their MC number, because for the people that don't know, Brokerage companies have empty numbers just like a carrier as well. Now, their contact information, boom. Uh, that's where you get the phone number. And some people will have an email for contact. So you, what you would do is just click on that email and then just send them an email. But in this case right here, they got a phone number and you would just click on that contact, uh, contact phone number right there. And then a lot of times, if you're doing this on your phone, it will automatically go to your, um, you know, the uh, the dial pad, and you can just basically hit the um, call button and the call. Now, uh, so once you call, it's just pretend like you, you know, we we calling them now. Boom. It's like I said, it's like hit the call button down there. Boom. We're gonna pretend like we call them. Phone ringing, broker picks up. They're gonna ask you for your MC number or your um, DOT number when you call them. Some of them ask them right up front. 
some of them ask them for that information right up front or some will wait until you tell them what load you're looking for on the board and then boom they go from there they answer the phone and they're gonna uh, introduce themselves or whatnot some of them will and others won't but um you're gonna tell them what load you're looking for so what you're gonna say is um how you doing uh, my name is such and such and i see a load here on the load board that's going from forest park georgia to miami florida um it picks up today um on the 8th and so then they'll at they'll look up the load and once they find the load talking about the program then they're going to either ask you for your mc number or your dot number right so you'll uh you'll give them that once you give them that then they're going to tell you whether or not you guys are good with their um you know with them or not right um once y'all figure that out if you guys are good and you guys can book the load and then they're gonna um you're gonna you're gonna give them your email address so they can uh, so that they can send the rate con to you through your email so you can sign it and send it back all right and the rate con is basically just a it says it's just a uh, a receipt of the load that you book with them right it's going to have all the load details on it and the rate that um, you guys agreed upon and oh also i forgot to mention uh, a lot of times um they will have the rate listed right here for the you know under the offer column but this particular load doesn't and typically what that means is that they're open for offers so you can kind of ne negotiate with them also you can really to be honest with you even if they did have a rate up there you can kind of negotiate that too um I, a lot of times i negotiate even when they do have a rope uh, rate posted so um yeah just keep that in mind right there under the average rate column they have the, you know the average rate for this load for this lane and so it kind of it can kind of give you an idea of you know you know what to strive for for us the rate wise if they don't have a load uh if they don't have an offer posted right there under the offer um, column all right so uh yeah uh under the comment section for this load teams require for a very strong solo Drop trailer at uh, basically at the receiver seventeen hundred. I uh, know, excuse me. It's a solo. Um, it says team required or very strong solo driver. Drop trailer at seventeen hundred. Loaded at twenty one hundred. Delivery Sunday at nine thirty. Commodity line haul freight load. Uh, wow. Okay, but yeah. So basically, what you would do. You know, you will ask them, once you get on the phone with the broker, you will ask them about this, you know, the details of this load here. So you can kind of get a better understanding um, on the load if you're interested. It's kind of, it just kind of um, go over it again, recap. Basically what you would do is, you know, you call, call the broker, you will hit this number down here, this 813 number, hit that, boom. Then that will, um, you hit the call button, call them. They're gonna answer the phone. And they're gonna, typically, they're gonna ask you what load are, are you looking for? And you're gonna tell them that you see a load here on the load board that's going from Forest Park, Georgia to Miami, Florida. You're trying to uh, find out the details about it. And then more than likely, they're gonna, um, they're gonna ask you for your MC number or DOT number. You're gonna provide them with that. And then they're gonna uh, start going then you can ask them about the load details right and the ins and outs about the load what time it picks up when does it deliver and um and they should tell you all of that right so that's basically how you um you utilize the load board just 
you know, I mean, like I say, the load board has more uh, options on it than just this, but this just can help you. This, this can kind of just jumpstart, you know, your experience with the load board, right? So you can just get started. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically um, um, the, the basic parts of the load board. Let's, let's just go back and just kind of play with the um, the um, origin. I just put in. Oh, also, let me just go over this. You can also select the option, like say you don't really have a, have a particular um, place you want to pick up or a particular place you want to deliver. You can just, or, or you don't really have a particular place you want to deliver. You can just leave in Atlanta, Georgia, and then you want you can put in. Uh, you can select the option of anywhere, right? Then it's going to provide you with loads from Atlanta, Georgia, from Atlanta, Georgia to just anywhere in, in the United States. All right. So we, we'll hit search. Boom. It's 48 loads for right now coming out of Atlanta, Georgia, going anywhere. Kennesaw, Kennesaw Georgia to Eaglewood, I guess, Colorado. Plenty loads, so just just want to show you guys what the rates looking like, and you know how the loads are set up. Social Social Circle Georgia to Ellery, South Carolina, Woodstock Georgia. Yeah, so yeah, YouTube. I hope you guys. Um, found some type of value out of this video uh, let me see yeah Conyers Georgia to uh, Clemens North Carolina yeah it's, it's a lot of loads say it's, it's, it's at this time of day I mean at this time of, uh, of the evening it's 6 1 p.m. but yeah you too well, let's just talk about the post your truck option uh, Basically, what this option is, like, say you got a, a lane that you want to run in particular, right, one week or a day, and you put in the information, you, you go and put in the information, boom, new search, you go and put in the information, boom, and you realize that, okay, let's just say, let's just say Miami, Florida, to... I am in Florida. And we're gonna hit search. And it's no loads found, right? But it could be, at, you know, at the beginning of the day, or, you know, it could be like eight o'clock in the morning or so. And it's saying this, no matches found, no, no matching loads found, right? So what you would do is you will go back, you will hit post a truck, you know, you, you you will want to post your truck, right? So basically what this is going to do is you're going to um, you're going to hit post, you know, to post your truck. Then you're going to go to the right hand side and hit the um, the plus symbol, the blue plus symbol. Then you're going to just put in, you know, the lane that you want to run. Just put in Miami, Miami, Florida to Miami, Florida. Boom. Then you're gonna put in, you know, your, your, your trailer type, your length, you know, your weight, boom, boom, and the date. And then you're gonna put in your contact information, either your phone number or your email, so that so, so that the broker can get in contact with you. Then once that happens, you're gonna hit post. Post this post here at the top right hand corner where it says post. You're gonna hit that. And so uh, basically, what, what's gonna happen is. This screen, this this right here is gonna be posted on some type of board that the uh, or website that the um, broker sees, you know, um, and they can basically, if they got a load that's kind of match up, match up to what you're looking for, they will call you about that load to see if you wanna take the load, right? So, 
it kind of just it kind of helps you out, right? It um it kind of uh just kind of how can I put it? It kind of cuts out the hassle and the work that you got to do to try to find that 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 lane, that load for that lane that you're trying to um, run, right? For that day or for that week or whatever. So it's it's a good option as well you can utilize that but let's see you can utilize that as well on the lower board but yeah youtube I'm, i think i'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna definitely end this video here i hope you guys found some type of value out of this video um y'all please don't forget to like comment subscribe share turn on your post notifications so you guys can be notified when the, when I drop my next freaking video. So with that being said, 